Compressed gas safety. Project requirements. OLA trained personnel are allowed to operate gas cutting equipment. Inspection of storage area. Gas storage permit. Quarterly check of regulators by competent person. Color code. Inspection tag inspection register. Calibration of all cylinder gauges. Never take compressed gas cylinders into confined spaces. Material Safety Data Sheet, MSDS. The Material Safety Data Sheet is a document accompanying industrial product carrying. Vital information about the product. These include, name of product, class of product, organic inorganic, safe use and associated hazards, storage, handling and disposal, MSDS should be available to HSE section, clinic and storage area, users must read and understand the requirement of the MSDS. Gas behavior. Oxygen, color code, white for medical, use and normally green for industrial use, support combustion, grease, oil and other combustible should not be brought in contact with oxygen to prevent. Ignition. Oxygen regulators is right hand acetylene, LPG, and propane, flammable gas, don't use flammable gases outside the cylinder at pressure excess of 1.5 bar gauge, flammable gases regulators has left hand thread hand thread, delivery pressure of flammable gases must not exceed 15 psi, acetylene is very unstable at pressures over 15 psi and is shock sensitive and may explode under certain conditions. Argon gas, displace oxygen, argon gas regulators is right hand thread. Normally used for welding for purging, a simple asphyxiant can make people suffocated when breathing argon by mistake. Gas cylinder color coding, gas cylinders are often color coded, but the codes are not standard across different jurisdictions and sometimes are not regulated. Cylinder color should not be used for positive product identification. Gas cylinders have labels affixed to them which identify the product they contain, and the label alone should be used for positive identification. When the identification provided by the label is dubious, it should be marked contents unknown and returned to the manufacturer. Color coding Different countries have different gas color codes but attempts are being made to standardize the colors of cylinder shoulders. Colors of cylinders for medical gases are covered by an International Organization for Standardization, ISO, standard, ISO 32. But not all countries use this standard. Within Europe gas cylinders colors are being standardized according to EN 1089-3. The standard colors applying to the cylinder shoulder only, i.e. the top of the cylinder close to the pillar valve, in the United States, color coding is not regulated by law. Therefore, one should not rely on the color of a cylinder to indicate what it contains. The label or decal should always be checked for product identification. Dot, hazards the main hazards associated with oxyfuel activities are explosion high noise, fire, injury, burns, death, acetylene, and propane are highly inflammable. Pure oxygen will explode if it comes in contact with oil, grease, grime, and other hydrocarbons. Storage of gas cylinders Company must approve all compressed gas cylinder storage areas. Gas storage permit. A valid copy of storage permit must be pasted on the storage areas. Cylinders of oxygen and flammable gases should not be stored together. They should be separated by at least 6 meters. Keep cylinders on a firm surface and secured upright to prevent it from falling. Should be separated by a non-combustible barrier at least 2 meters high having a fire-resistant rating of at least half an hour. Do not keep near naked flames and prohibit smoking. Protect from direct sunlight and high temperature. 
protect regulator and torch from ingress of foreign objects, warning signs should be provided example, no smoking. Inspection, check for loose clips at the end connection between hose, torch gauges. Use oxygen regulator for oxygen gas only, and acetylene regulator for acetylene only. Check that damaged components are not used. Check for leaks on the fittings using soapy water. Check that rated pressure does not exceed 15 cipher acetylene. Ensure that flashback arrester is installed at regulators. Also recommended at torches. Install inspection tag. Safe use of oxygen and fuel gas cutting equipment. All valves must be opened slowly. Opening the regulator valve, turning regulator valve counterclockwise before the cylinder valve is turned on. Opening the fuel valve, open acetylene propane valve, light, open oxygen flame setting valve and set flame, preheating, open the cutting gas valve and cut, shutting off after cutting. PPE requirements, cutting goggles safety glass, dark, with face shield, long leather gloves, long sleeved leather apron, leggings, safety shoes or boots. General safety precautions. Spray painting the regulator and its components is a potentially deadly act. Paint is an organic compound and its contact with oxygen may result in explosion. Should there be leakage at the time of this act, what do you think will be the result? Never attempt to repair a cylinder by welding on it. Do not store gas cylinders near energized electrical systems. Inspect the cylinder for deep gauges. Do not use a damaged cylinder. Report it to your supervisor. Do not let oxygen come in contact with any organic product. Use only friction lighter light in a well-ventilated environment. Do not cut on close containers. Know what is inside the container. Materials to be cut should not be placed on a wooden block. Because wood burns. Materials to be cut should not be placed on concrete. Heated concrete explodes and can cause severe burns and injury. Ensure that materials to be cut are placed on a support or on a sheet or metal. Those cutting at height should ensure the use of approved fire-resistant blanket. It is very important that when using oxyfuel gas cutting equipment, Flammable materials should be kept at a distance of about 10 meters or protected. Cutting torch should not be set aside with the flame on. Always keep fire extinguishers hand nearby. In the event of flashback, shut cylinder valves immediately. If fire is already in the cylinder, call emergency dispatch. Set up your torch. Tanks come with either a bare tank stem or a hand valve for turning them on and off. If there are children in the house, it is safer to have the bare tank stem and to use a tank key for these operations. Do not leave the key on an unsupervised tank. Store it with your tools for safekeeping. It is important to use only a tank key and not a set of pliers for opening and closing the tank stem. Pliers can round out the corners of the stem and damage it. Tank keys are inexpensive. So by two, just in case, locate your tank in a well-ventilated area. To assemble the tank torch system, take off the plastic cap protecting the regulator connection threads and open the tank stem with the tank key for just a second, counterclockwise and the close it. If the tank is full, there will be a loud whoosh sound. This will blow out any dirt or dust from the tank stem. Save the plastic cap for protecting the threads when you trade in the empty tanks. Position the tank so the tank is on your left. Attach the regulator to the tank valve. This can be tricky and need a steady, firm hand. Firmly push the regulator into the valve opening. And turn the regulator nut clockwise, toward you, tighten the regulator nut with an adjustable or universal wrench. 
This requires some strength, but be careful not to over tighten and potentially damage the threads on the regulator. If you can wiggle the gauges back and forth you have not tightened the regulator nut enough. If you are using a regulator mounted flashback arrestor, connect it to the regulator at the hose valve. Fuel fitting are left threaded and tightened to the left, that's counterclockwise. Attach the red hose brass coupling to the hose valve at the regulator for regulator mounted flashback arrestor. Attach the torch head to the torch handle by pushing the head in as far as it will go and turning it slightly. Tighten the torch head nut. Do this by hand you will be changing toric heads as needed. If you are using a torch mounted flashback arrestor, connection it to the torch handle. Remember, these are reverse threads and must be attached counterclockwise. Snug with a wrench. Attach the other end of the hose to the torch handle or torch mounted flashback arrestor. Screw the T-shaped regulator adjustment knob into the dimple under the gauge faces, turning clockwise. Insert it approximately halfway into the regulator, stand to the side and slowly turn on the tank by turning the tank key counterclockwise about a quarter of a turn. There is never a need to open your tank any more than half a turn, at the most. The regulator gauge or gauges will register how much pressure there is in the tank, which is also a measure of how full the tank is, and control the rate of the gas flow. If you have two gauges, one will register the delivery pressure and the other gauge will register supply pressure. Turn off the torch and piece. With the gauges set, bubble test all of the connections with either commercial leak detection fluid or a solution of water detergent. Liberally paint all connections with a clean paintbrush. Look at every connection closely over a period of several minutes. If any bubbles form, turn off the tank with the tank key and tighten the leak connection. After tightening a leak connection, blot it dry with a clean tissue and turn the tank back on. Reapply leak detection solution. Keep checking and tightening until no bubbles appear. If you still see bubbles or smell a garlic smell, which is acetylene, do not light the torch. Turn the tank off. Open a window. If the leaky connection is at the regulator threads, remove the regulator and use Teflon tape to wrap the tank threads never more than two wraps are needed. Reattach the regulator. After repeatedly testing and tightening a leaky connection, if you still have bubbles, it may be a faulty tank. Turn it off with the key, disconnect the regulator, hose and torch and move the tank outdoors. Call or return the tank to the dealer. If there are no bubbles and you do not smell acetylene, and your gauges are steady, you are ready to use the torch. Always use a striker never a cigarette lighter or matches to light a torch. There will be a slight pop as gas enters the torch when you light it. And also when you turn it off. The pop is a safety feature which ensures that extra gas remaining in the torch handle is burned off. When you have finished using the torch, turn off the flame while listening for the pop if you are through soldering for the day or will be leaving the studio for a while, turn off the tank by turning the tank key clockwise. Open the torch and piece knob to release any pressure on the hose. The gauges will slowly fall to zero. Close the torch and piece knob. Release any remaining pressure with the regulator adjusting knob. Verify a zero reading on both gauges. That's all there is to it. Soon, using and setting up your tank will become comfortable.